Hello everyone, how are you today? It's K. So this is the 12th of December on Sunday. So every Sunday on my YouTube channel, I do the forecast for upcoming week, which is start from tomorrow. So technically it's this week. I have the forecast for Forex pairs and commodity gold and WTI oil and then indices. So let's get started right now. So uh, looks like last week the market was pretty much ranging. So uh, we didn't really see trends in higher time frames. So uh, but hopefully we see some active markets this week. So let's start. Let me change the screen and start the session now. All right. So as a quick disclaimer, as usual, the content is all based on my own experience and knowledge. So when you take trades, please do at your own risk. And also, since this is live stream, if you can please follow the rules and guidelines, that will be great. Because after all, we're all here to learn. Okay, so let's see. Let me quickly say hi to everyone and start screening the Forex pairs first. So hello, Karim, good to see you. And Ken Lee. Muhammad, good to see you also, and Vipin, and Roge, Dijiadi, and um, Shindabad, thank you for joining, and William, good to see you also, thank you for joining. So, all right, let's start. So, let me turn to trading view. Okay, so here is trading view. Oops, I think I canceled my own screen. So let me pop that up again. Okay. All right, so since this is weekend, over the weekend, I look at the weekly chart. And but today, let me talk about the weekly and also the daily chart so that it becomes more practical. So First, I will cover these 21 pairs on my watch list. So let me cancel all these flags and start from Euro pairs. Okay, so now let me switch to weekly chart. And this is the situation. So on the weekly chart, Euro USD, it's bearish. You can see that the Kumo down. Kumo shows long term market direction, it's bearish. And Kijun Sen is also bearish. It shows the mid-term market direction. It's bearish. And Chikou Span below candles. This is also showing the market momentum as bearish, as Chikou Span below candles. So at a glance, this is bearish and downtrend. So I expect next week will be bearish. And also, if you can break it down to the daily chart, you can see that there is a P wave here. There is a P wave, and also within the P wave, Kijun Sen is pointing down. And price itself is below Kijun Sen Kumo, Chikou Span below candles. So, most likely this week, I expect the market breaks the P wave bearish. So, once it happens, I will look for the sell chance. So, that's the Euro USD. So, since we have weekly downtrend, um, let me mark this as purple because purple color is the weekly trend on my watch list. So like this, I cover all these 21 pairs first. So now let's move on to the next one, Euro AUD on the weekly. This is now ranging. Uh, you can see that the market has been flat, going just up and down, it's ranging. This is more the P wave on the weekly. So you can technically draw lines from top to, you know, uh, this um, lower highs and higher lows so this is technically in the p wave but at this moment we can't make we can't sure which way it's breaking because it's sideways and kumo flat kijun sen flat chikosman touching so this is ranging so simply we better wait for the breakout and take trades if you want to follow the weekly direction and with that in mind if you look at the daily time frame this is also ranging sideways the market is now within the Kumo. So when you see the market within the Kumo like this, it's like airplane into the thunderstorm and the market becomes very spiky. 
just ups and downs in the market in lower time frames. So simply, I would stay away from this one on Monday or Tuesday. We might see some trends from Wednesday onwards, but most likely I stay away from tomorrow and Tuesday. So Euro AUD, I won't mark this one because it's ranging on the weekly and the daily time frame. All right. Yes, good to see you. Thank you for joining everyone. Ben, Atrusitaram, Anis, Eugene, Cecil, and Kuok. Hi. Good to see you, everyone. Thank you for joining. Kuok says, do you have any tips for trading minor pairs? In minor pairs, um, the spreads are relatively wider, higher, bigger. So um, you better take the higher time frame directions. So daily chart or forward chart, you can follow on these minor pairs. In exotic pairs, you can follow the weekly chart also. Because in a 5 minute chart, it might be a bit too spiky. Okay, so let's move on to Euro Pound weekly chart. So, Euro Pound weekly, and what do you see here now? You can see that the market is still bearish in the long term because Kumo is simply pointing down. But the Kijun Sen flat, Tenkan Sen flat, Chikou span almost touching. So, from the short to mid term, it's ranging. And when you see this, this is called Y wave in Ichimoku. Y wave is where you see the highs are getting lower, but the lows are also getting lower and lower. So this is Y wave kind of expanding. So it may break the trend line and it goes up, retrace back to the previous resistance. And so that means it may retrace back to Tenko Span B level uh, this week. So if it happens, then you never trade. But if the market still continues to be downtrending next uh, this week, then we can follow the downtrend on the lower time frame. So I will be looking for the sell chance on this one. And with that in mind, if you look at the daily time frame, this is still ranging. The market is broke the come upwards, but it became fake and now it's retracing backwards. And the reason why the Kumo breakout became fake was Chikou Span hasn't broken the Kumo yet. And the market was resisted at the previous resistance level from the 5th of November, and now it's retracing backwards. So now market has been retracing backwards to Kumo, and daily chart, Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat, Chikou Span touching, it's ranging, so no trend and no trace. So this one euro pound also, I would be away at least uh, tomorrow and Tuesday and perhaps come back on Wednesday. Because most likely for the next two days, I don't think there will be a new trend unless it breaks the resistance. I don't think there will be a, any trends in this one. All right, so let's move on to euro JPY. Euro JPY weekly chart this is still now within the Kumo, so it's ranging basically. Let me delete these lines. So the market is ranging Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat, and Chikou Span below candles. So the fact that the Chikou Span below candles means that this is bearish. And once the market breaks a Kumo bearish, which is called a Sanko Gyakuten signal, once it happens, we expect the market continuously be bearish in the long term. But still, it's within the Kumo, so it might retrace back to Kijun Sen or Tenkan Sen. So in weekly chart, we can't see which way it's going. Although we saw the breakout of the support last, last week or two weeks back, but now it's retracing backwards within the range, so we can't see which way it's going. So with that in mind, if you look at the daily time frame, it's bearish. It's bearish because the market is below Kijun Sen Kumo, and Chikou Span below candles, and also Kumo Angle, the Senko Span A is pointing down, and Kijun Sen pointing down also, so it's bearish. So in the daily time frame, because it's bearish, it may break the support. And once it breaks the support, then on the weekly, it breaks the Kumo, and we see downtrend afterwards. But until the, until the support line breakout, I would hold, so that means I would hold until the breakout of 127.36 level. So that's the Euro JPY for this week. And the next one is Euro CAD. And looking at the weekly time frame, it's now still bearish. 
because the price is simply below Kijun Sen, below Kumo, and Chikou Span below candles, so this is bearish. So there is still chance that the market continuously be bearish downtrend in this direction. And with that in mind, looking at the daily chart, it's now ranging flat. So this is called Y wave, expanding Y wave. So it's not any wave, but it's Y wave. Then this is considered to be a very tricky market. So when, you, when I see Y wave on the daily or the forward chart, then simply I stay away because the market might go up to that level and resist it and retrace backwards. But sometimes without touching the previous resistance or previous uh, trend line, uh, sometimes on, on the halfway, it retrace backwards. And this is very tricky market. So most likely I will stay away from EuroCAD this week. And then moving on to Euro run, weekly time frame, this is bearish. So I will mark this as purple because the Kumo down, Kumo's down, and the Kijun Sen down, Tenkan Sen down, and Chikou Span below the candles. And there was a support line, 1.0448, and the support level has broken bearish now. So I think the support was all the way back from uh, from here, around this level, around uh, the March 2015. It was a long ago, but since there was a support here, I just marked that level. But now it has been broken down and looks like it's continuously to be bearish. Last week was bullish, but I think this is on the weekly a weekly picture, this is just a small retracement correction and I still see the potential continuous downtrend. So with that in mind, if I look at the daily time frame, it's still bearish. So after the previous Kijun Sen breakout, the market has been below the Kijun Sen for the last 51 days or 52 days now. So the market may meet the Kijun Sen this week, so that means it may retrace backwards to Kijun Sen and then Kijun Sen will be re rejected and continuously go down is my idea. Because on the daily chart also it's bearish, the Kumo down, Kijun Sen flat but the price itself is below Kijun Sen and Chikou Span below candles. But one thing for sure is that if I see the market breaks the Kijun Sen, if the market goes up and breaks the Kijun Sen, then I won't look for sell chance anymore. But as long as market is below Kijun Sen, I continuously look for the sell chance. So that's the Euro Swiss run. Okay, so next I will be moving to USD pairs, but before that, I see some comments now. So let me cover them first. All right, thank you for joining everyone. Great to see you. So if you like this so far, please press the like button before you leave. That will be great. Okay, so let's see. Sindabat says, um, Kumo indicates long-term trend and Kijun Sen indicates mid-term trend. So what would that mean on the weekly time frame? I mean, what does long range and medium range would mean on the weekly time frame? So the idea of Ichimoku is that, you know, you, you watch, you see one single time frame and capture three different terms. So, in three different terms like short term, mid term, long term, it's not about the time frame, but it's a term, so it's different. So if you see weekly chart, simply, uh, it, whether it's a weekly or daily chart, simply Kijun Sen short term means nine candles. And Kijun Sen mid term in Ichimoku means 26 candles and long term means 52 candles which is single span b so whether it's a weekly or even monthly or even daily chart we look at the market in three different terms on one single time frame yep so let's move on to the next usd pairs so first i will cover usd jpy and on the weekly time frame this is still bullish because the market is above Kijun Sen, above Kumo, and Chikou Span above the candles, but uh, it has broken the Tenkan Sen now. So the market may retrace back to Kijun Sen on the weekly chart. So if we see bearish trend, 
this week, then the target should be Kijun Sen on the weekly, which is 112.13. So with that in mind, if you look at the daily time frame, this is now in the range. The Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat, Chikou Span touching. So it's ranging, so we can't tell which way it's going. So simply, I would most likely stay away this week. And then uh, looking at the USC CAD on the weekly chart, the market is within the Kumo now. So, but it's about to break the Kumo. So once it breaks out, Kumo happens this week, then the market will turn bullish. So together with the resistance breakout at uh, around this level of um, 1.2885 and 1.2944 range. If the market breaks that range upwards, then most likely the market continuously go up. So if it happens this week, then we can of course look for the buy chance above these price levels. But before that, it's ranging, so it may be traced backwards to Tenkan Sen Kijun Sen on the weekly chart. And with that in mind, looking at the daily time frame, it's a bit bullish. The market is bullish, Kijun Sen is pointing up, and Kumo is also bullish, and Chikou Span above the candles. So, in this case, on the daily time frame, we can expect a continuous uptrend on this bullish in wave. So the market has dropped down last week, but this week it could bounce and continuously goes up to the weekly resistance. So initial target will be 1.2885 and the second target will be 1.2944. And once it breaks, of course, you can keep trading the profits along the way. So I will be looking for buy on USCCAD this week. And the next one is USC Sisran. Starting from the weekly chart, it's ranging now. Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat. And the Chikou Span touching, so this is ranging. And this is also in the P wave on the weekly basis. So we have to wait for the P wave breakout. Otherwise, we better stay away. And in this case though, uh, I can see that the potential breakout happens bullish. So I will just Put the arrow like this and upwards because I can see the potential bullish breakout on the weekly. Because Kumo, if you see Kumo here, Senko Span A is pointing up and price is above Kijun Sen and Kijun Sen is actually pointing upwards. So I can see that there is a bullishness here on the market. So most likely P wave will be broken upwards. But with that in mind, if we look at the daily time frame. In the daily time frame, the market is below Kijun Sen and Kumo flat, Chikou Span too close to candles, so simply we better wait for the breakout and buy afterwards. So, um, so that we expect the end wave and um, daily time frame happens, and once we confirm the bullish end wave in the daily time frame, then it may continuously go up to the next resistance on the weekly, which is 0 0.9367 level. So I will be looking for buy on USC run this week. All right, so now we are moving on to pound pairs. And before that, let me cover some other comments now. Oh yeah, there's pound USC. Nice breakout to the Kumo. But let me cover some comments now. Thank you for joining everyone. And Ash, good to see you here. And uh, Bill, thank you for joining. And Al Harris, good to see you. And Toy, Saman. Juan, Alan, good to see you also. Dalaj, thank you for joining as well. All right, John Harris says, and if single spam B is flat, but the rest are trending, is it considered flat or the trend? That will be the trend market. If single spam B only flat, but single spam A up, Junsen Tenkan up, and Kumo up, I mean, the Chikou span above candles, that's bullish. Although single spam B is flat in that case. All right, Gabriel says, um, hello, K. Okay. Is it a good idea to count count candles in the weekly chart in order to find the Henkabi day? Yeah, that is possible. Yes, time cycle works on daily or the weekly time frame. So you can capture the Henkabis on the weekly also. 
All right. Yeah, Ralph and Ivan just here. Good to see you also. All right. So we are now moving on to pound pairs. So now starting from pound USD on the weekly, as I mentioned a little bit, the market broke the Kumo now. And Kumo twisted also to bearish. And we had the Tenkan Sen Kijun Sen did cross Chikospan break and Kumo breakout. So we now see downtrend. But the thing for this in this case is that the market closed within the Kumo still. So technically, the Kumo breakout hasn't happened yet. Um, actually, last week, or last sorry, uh, two weeks back, there was a Kumo breakout. But last week, the market went within the Kumo. So we better wait for the single span B breakout this week to be able to sell on the weekly time frame. So single span B level is, is on a 1.3250 level. And with that in mind, if you drop down to the daily time frame, we can precisely know exactly which price level the market needs to break okay so here is daily chart and on the daily chart also we see bearish trend because now the kumo's down senkospan b flat but senkospan a is bearish and kumo has been long enough and thick enough after the previous twist and kijun sen point down tenkan sen flat but the market is still on the tenkan sen so this is bearish and chikospan below candles so this week, once the market breaks this 1.3250, which is single span B on the weekly, once you confirm the breakout, close below the price level, then that will be a good sell chance. So pound dollar, I will mark this as a red because it's downtrending on the daily time frame, but not the weekly time frame because weekly, once again, the market went back into the Kumo. So we might not going to be following the weekly trend. But daily time frame, it's downtrending. So we can follow a downtrend on the weekly. All right, so let's now move on to pound yen. Pound yen on the weekly time frame, this is now still above the Kumo somehow. Uh, last week, sorry, uh, two weeks back, uh, the market went into the Kumo, but it was supported at the previous support level which was 149.95 and last week it went above the Kumo so sorry there are too many lines so let me just delete all these but uh, so this is bullish still on the weekly but uh, I think the this uh, bullishness is a bit very weak it may go into the Kumo again in this case because uh, simply the market is below Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen, Chikou Span below candles, so this is bearish. So it might break the support level of around um, 148.96. And with that in mind, if you look at the daily time frame, this is bearish. Because after the Kumo twist, Kumo has been bearish, Senko Span A is bearish. And Kijun Sen down, Tenkan Sen down, and Chikou Span below candles. So Friday, the market retraced back to Tenkan Sen, but it may be rejected and go down this way this week. So if we start to see bearishness, I will be looking for the sell. And I will do so before the breakout happens. As long as Kumo down, Kijun Sen down, Chikou Span below candles, we can expect the support level breakout. So I will be looking for the sell this week, pound yen, based on the daily confirmations. And the next one is pound CAD. Weekly shows that this is bearish because Kumo down and Kijun Sen down, Tenkan Sen down, Chikou Span below candles. And these angles happened because of this, you know, support level breakout. But after that, after the support level breakout, the market soon retraced all the way back to Tenkan Sen. And the market is on the Tenkan Sen now on this weekly time frame. But most likely in this case, 
these angles might be fake and the market might be in the range for a couple more days. So I won't mark bearish on pound cat from that reason. And if I look at the daily time frame, daily time frame the market retraced back to Kijun Sen. But come on flat Kijun Sen flat Chikospan touching. So it's ranging and no trend and no trace this week. And now the next one is pound AUD on the weekly chart. This is still flat. Last week I was bearish, but uh, this week we're not sure which way it's going because come on flat, Kijun Sen flat, Chikospan touching. Uh, but this is a bit more like bearish and price action because um, the highs are lower now and lows are lower since since um, 16th of August. So in that sense, this is cons consecutive bearish in the wave. So the market might go down this week in price action wise, and it may retrace back to Kumo in this way. And with that in mind, looking at the daily time frame, this is still flat. But uh, since weekly showing bearish, we might expect the market breaks Kumo in the daily and once I confirm Kumo down, Kijun Sen down, below Kumo, and Chikospan breakout, then I look for the selling edge. But uh, we are not sure if it happens this week. If it doesn't, then simply I stay away. And the next one is Pound Sisfrang. Weekly chart broke the Kumo and now this is turning bearish. So now I will take out this arrow because now it's bearish all the way. So um, yeah, so the market has reached all the way back to this level at the previous resistances. And last week, sorry, uh, yeah, last week was bullish. But since we have this consecutive bearish in the waves, I expect in the long term, this is bearish. So if I see daily bearish trend, then I will follow it. And if you look at a daily time frame, it's bearish now. You see consecutive bearish in the waves. And the market retrace backwards now, and this is a P wave. But I expect the P wave breakout bearish this week. Kumo down, Senko span A down, Kijun Sen flat, but the Tenkan Sen down, Chikou span below candles. So from Monday onwards, I expect. Tenkan Sen rejection. Tenkan Sen rejection. And from Monday and Tuesday, the market go down continuously and breaks support. But once the market breaks the Tenkan Sen, then it may be traced back to Kijun Sen. So I won't trade if that if it happens. So that's the scenario of Pan Sisfran. So I will mark also red as this is downtrending more on the daily time frame. So now I will move on to AUD pairs, but before that, let me cover some comments again. All right, so once again, thank you for joining everyone on this relaxing Sunday. All right, good to see you, Gabriel, Levinas, good to see you also, Peter and Karen, good to see you also, Banless, good to see you, thank you for joining. All right, John Harris says, have you ever placed a small trade where price broke Kijun Sen and retraced Tenkan Sen? then sold for a few pips. Uh, yes, I did. I have placed such small small order, small trade, and that will be most likely an intraday trade. Okay, so let's move on to AUD USD. So we first look at the weekly time frame. So weekly chart, it's bearish now. So let me delete this level, these lines. Okay, so weekly is bearish because the Kumo Senko Span is down and the Kijun Sen down and price below Tenkan Sen and Chikou Span below candles. So I expect the market continuously be bearish. So before it was end wave. So from here it was end wave. But from the week of from the week of 25th of October, it has been on the bearish end wave. A bearish eye wave, sorry. Bearish I wave and it may mark up and retrace backwards this way. 
So simply I wait for the bearishness on the daily time frame this week. And if you look at the daily time frame, this is also bearish. So I will mark this as purple because now this is bearish on the weekly and daily. So in the daily time frame after the market twist, Kumo twist, it has been nicely bearish Kumo. And Kumo is gaining thickness. Kumo is getting thicker and longer. This is a good confirmation for its bearishness in the long term. And single span A is now pointing down. This is also a good sign for this bearishness. And Kijun Sen point down. And Chikou span below candles. So the market retracing backwards um, last week was a bit retracement. But uh, it may touch Kijun Sen and reject by the Kijun Sen and continuously be bearish this week. So, yeah, so, so from that reason, AUDUSD is a good one to sell. But if the market breaks Kijun Sen, then I won't look for the sell chance anymore because it's now in the range. Okay, and in terms of the retracement Kijun Sen, you can also capture this by the Fibonacci bounce. So if you take the high on 29th of October, all the way down low on the 3rd of December, then Kijun Sen bounce most likely will be around 38.2% bounce. So I expect the market bounce uh, this 38.2%, which is 0 0.7207, and Kijun Sen, and then continuously go down this way. So we'll see how it plays out. So the next one is AUDCAD. All right, AUDCAD weekly chart. This is bearish because price is below the Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen, Kumo. And two weeks back, the market broke the support level of, uh, sorry, as I talk, I draw many lines and it might confuse you. So let me just clean the lines. I should have done it before the live. Sorry about the mess. But, uh, okay, so the previous support level was 0 0.9098 and two weeks back it broke. And last week it, it went back within above the previous support. So this is now in the range, I would say. So the market might retrace back to Tenkan Sen or Kijun Sen on the weekly time frame. So Tenkan Sen is, this is the Tenkan Sen level. 0.9153 and Kijun Sen is over here 0.9195 so if you look to buy these two levels will be a potential target and with that in mind looking at the daily time frame this is now in range the market broke the Kijun Sen so the market is losing its direction so better to stay away is my advice but if you look to buy, then these two levels will be target. So this is Tenkan Sen weekly, and this is Kijun Sen weekly. Market retrace back to either one of these levels, I would say. Okay, so now afterwards, this is AUDJPY. On the weekly time frame, the market is within the Kumo now, Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat. Call span is getting back to candles, no trend and no trace. And the daily time frame is this is bearish now. So I will mark red as this one is bearish. So the Kumo down, Kijun Sen down. So the market might be rejected by the Kijun Sen and continuously be bearish this week. Chikou span also below candles is also a nice downtrend confirmation. So that's that and AUDC run weekly time frame. This is slightly bearish. It's slightly bearish because you see Kumo is bearish. And Kijun Sen is technically Kijun Sen is now pointing down because of this support line or the previous um, second previous low breakout. So this is technically bearish. So the market may continuously be bearish in this long term. Last week, 
the market will trace back. So it might be traced back to Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen, but overall, this is still bearish to me. And with that in mind, looking at the daily time frame, this is now technically below the Kijun Sen and below Kumo, Chikou Span below candles. So this is also bearish. So the bottom line in this case is whether the market breaks Kijun Sen or not. If it breaks Kijun Sen, then no trade. I won't look for sell chance. So, and also we had two consecutive dojis Friday and Sa Friday, Thursday. So, once these two consecutive dojis breakout happens bearish, which is the breakout of 0 0.6580 level, then it continues to go down this way. So, let's wait for that level breakout this week and look for sell chance afterwards. Okay, so then let me cover three more pairs. So CADJPY weekly, this is now ranging. Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat. Chikou Span touching, ranging, and no trend and no trace. And as for daily chart, this one is also ranging. So I won't look at this chart most likely this week. And next one is CAD run on the weekly, it's ranging. Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat, Chikou Span below candles. So this is technically bearish in the short to mid term, but this is still in, within the Kumo now. So better to wait for the Kumo breakout. And if you look at the daily time frame, this is also bearish. The market's below Kijun Sen Kumo, Chikou Span below candles, bearish. So the market could go down on this bearish end wave. But I would wait for the support level breakout 0.7133 and look for the sell chance afterwards. Otherwise, it may go up or it may go into the range. And we don't know which way it's going in this situation. Okay, and the next one is Sisran JPY. This is the last one for the Forex pair. So Sisran JPY, this one is now bullish because the Kumo's up. Tenkan Span A is up, and Kijun Sen flat, but the Tenkan Sen is up, and Chikou Span above the candles. So as long as market is above the Tenkan Sen, that's bullish. And we had also three previous dojis, and once that breaks, which is at over here, at uh, 123.73, then we might see a nice and sound bullish trend afterwards. Yep. So, if you look at the daily time frame, this is now flat, still flat. So, um, yeah, but uh, so this is the uh, weekly uh, doji candle breakout, and also that will be a Kumo breakout on the daily time frame. So, I would wait for the Kumo break and also Chikou Span break for additional confirmation. To buy afterwards so if it happens this week then i will capture that and look for the buy chance okay so that covers the whole 21 pairs on my watch list so now i will be moving on to gold and wti oil but before doing that let me drink a cup of water because i'm getting very really thirsty now i had a uh a little bit of a snack before the live and now i'm being thirsty so let me go grab a water and I will be right back in one minute.
All right, thank you for waiting. So my mouth is now in a good condition. So let let me continue to talk. So now I will switch to gold. Okay, so let me change the screen. Okay. All right, so here is gold. So before moving on, let me cover some comments again. So once again, thank you for joining everyone on this relaxing Sunday. So if you like the live stream so far, please press the like button. That will be great. Okay, so yeah, Sanyaku Koten Gyakuten signals are rare. Yes, I think it's rare because that's one of the biggest signals in Ichimoku. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like I mentioned, you don't have to wait for the Kumo breakout or Sanyaku signals breakout. Before that or after that, you can also find some trading edges like this. All right, Boundless, good to see you. Milos says, Mr. K, would it be easier to see waves when the color of the candles is all the same? I sometimes have trouble identifying if a wave is either N or just an I wave. Um, yeah, if you turn the colors all like white, all the same kind of color, then I think, yeah, that might be easier to capture the waves. If you see, if your color is like red and green, or some other colors, like mixed colors of the bullish and bearish, it may be a bit difficult, yeah. But if you can capture pushbacks and pullbacks, swing lows and swing highs, you must be able to capture these waves along the way. All right, uh, let's see. Miguel says, AUD with the weekly chart, wouldn't you consider this as a P price action bullish engulfing reversal? Um, all right, let me check. AUD USD. Let me quickly check that. And weekly time frame. Okay, um, so this is. So you're talking about here, maybe. Bullish engulfing reversal. Uh, this one is technically not the bullish engulfing because this is. This uh, most recent candle low. Is not lower than the previous low. So if this bullish candle was bigger than the previous candle, then uh, this is engulfing. But uh, this time, it's not really. Not really. Yeah, if price breaks Kijun Sen, is it considered range until it breaks the Kumo? Yeah, if it's bearish, then yeah, in between Kijun Sen and Tukumo, it's range. Yes. Hello, Danish. Good to see you. Thank you for joining. Nice to see you. All right. So now let's move on to gold. Okay. So gold, I have too many lines. So let me first delete the lines. So um, yeah. So this is weekly gold. I will just leave this line because this is trend line. So um. If you see the chart, gold weekly, this is now pure range. So I see Kumo flat, Kijun Sen is down, Tenkan Sen is up. So that means in the midterm it's bearish, but in the long in the short term it's bullish. So that means the market is now ranging. This is divergence of Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen, which we see sometimes. But when you see this, this is range sign. And same is same in a single span BA. Sometimes when the market is spiky, volatile, you will see the single span B is up, single span A is down, and this is also considered to be the flat kumo. So it's range, and the chikou span is also with the candles. So this is also range. So we can't really tell which way it's going on the gold from technical perspective. However. In terms of the daily time frame, we see a bit bearishness now. Because I draw this line, I draw this trend line, and if you see trend line, the market has been supported once, twice, and three times, but it was broken and now at the 
previous rejection of this trend line, you see the pin bar. This was a pin bar rejection. So I expect the market turned bearish from here, like this way, in price action. But we have to see, we have to wait for the support level breakout 1761.63 to have this reverse end wave formation. Otherwise, it may be still be supported and it goes up from here. But uh, yeah, price action wise, this is bearish. And also in Ichimoku perspective, it is now turning bearish because the market is below Tenkan Sen Kijun Sen. And Chikou Span, when the market opens tomorrow, then uh, Chikou Span will naturally go sideways or be bearish. And that will make the Chikou Span break below candles. So the market will be bearish afterwards. So, yeah, this week I, I expect market bearish, but uh, unless I see the breakout of the support, I would stay away. Yeah, or it might be ranging also this week. So we have to wait and see the stable trend confirmation. This is where people tend to lose, you know, this, because this is very tricky. Every day it just goes either up or down and you better not to trade in this case. You might be trading like a revenge trades many times in this range. So also you see many wicks up and downwards. Very tricky market. So the next one I cover is WTI crude oil. So this one, um, this is now in range because the Kumo flat, single span B is up, but single span A is now flat and the price itself is below Kijun Sen and above Kumo. So now the market is in the range. So this is more of like Y wave structure now. The previous supports almost at the same level, but the highs are getting higher. So this is technically called the Y wave structure. So the market is bouncing and it may go up to the previous uh, trend line level. But um, we are not sure yet. I'm not sure if it goes up straight or if it goes up on the end wave like this. And we can't tell how many days or how many weeks it takes for the market to reach that level. So and now, of course, the price is below Kijun Sen. So we better wait for the Kijun Sen break and then look for buy chance. So Kijun Sen on the weekly is over here at 73.60 and with that in mind if you look at the daily time frame the market is actually that level is actually Kijun Sen in the daily time frame as well so until we see the Kijun Sen breakout in this case both on the weekly and daily time frame this is bearish it has been bearish so it may be rejected by the Kijun Sen and continuously go down this way. But if we see Kijun Sen breakout both on the daily weekly chart, then uh, the market could go up to Kumo. But uh, that will be range still. So I would be waiting for the market to break Kumo on the daily and finally look for buy chance. Okay, so let me now go to the indices. not the forex so i will go to index and uh hold on index and first i will start from nikkei weekly so for indices i will cover the weekly time frame only the weekly um nikkei is now flat ranging still the market is within the kumo now the price below kijun sen within kumo so this is ranging and no trend this is in the p wave it's in the p wave but we are not sure which way it breaks in this case. Okay, so now let's move on to uh, Dow Jones. Yeah, Dow Jones is now still a bit bullish because now Kumo's up. 
So last week was nice bullish market. So it looks like Dow Jones is recovering now. The market is above Kijun Sen Tenkan Sen now and Chikou Span above candles. There was a nice, you know, Chikou Span bounce and now it's above candles. So this is not bullish. So we expect continuously uptrend and wave like this way. So Dow Jones is bullish. I mark this one as purple. And the next one is um, Nasdaq. Nasdaq is also bullish. It has been bullish, as I mentioned from the couple of weeks back. The Kumo's up, Kijun Sen up, Tenkan Sen up, and Chikou Span above the candles. So yeah, this is still uptrending, and we can follow still the uptrend onwards. So, and S&P also is bullish. Kumo's up. Kijun Sen flat, but there was a nice bounce on this Tenkan Sen and Chikou Span above candles. So it's nicely bullish. So it breaks. Most likely it will break the resistance on the weekly chart. So here is Euro stocks. Euro stock is more of a bit range because the Kumo technically is up, Senko Span A is up. But the, um, the market is still, it was below Kijun Sen. And last week it went above the Kijun Sen. But still, this is in the um, this is in the Y wave. Or this is this could be on the N wave in the future. But uh, I can see that the bullishness is now getting weaker. So we might see range this week. We might see range this week. And this is not a good timing to buy it. I would have to wait for the market up clearly above the Tenkan Sen and then buy. Okay, and here is FTSE 100. FTSE 100 is now bullish. It's now recovering bullish because um, the Kumo is up, Tenkan Sen is up, and Kijun Sen flat, but Tenkan Sen, but Tenkan Sen up, and market above the Tenkan Sen. So we can expect the market goes up on the end wave, like in this direction. Chikou Span all above candles. So the next one is Hack Friends. Hack Friends is now still ranging um, because Kumo's up and Kijun Sen flat and also uh, Tenkan Sen is up and Chikou Span above the candles. So two weeks back, there was a nice bounce on this Kijun Sen. And yeah, so this is, sorry, this is bullish now. It's a bullish. So um, yeah, the market can potentially go up and up in this direction. And the next one is DAX index. DAX is a bit more of bearish or range because the Kumo is up. So long term, it's bullish. But in the short to mid term, this is now ranging because the market is on the Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen, and Chikou Span overlapping. So, for this market to be able to buy, we have to wait for the market comes above Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen, and Chikou Span breakout, and then buy, and expect the market breaks the resistance level. So that's the DAX index. And the next one is Nifty chart. So Nifty chart is somehow still bullish on the weekly time frame because um, technically it's up. I can see that the Kumo flat, but the market is above the, above the Kijun Sen. It bounced on the Kijun Sen and still going up this way and Chikou Span above the candles. So this is now still bullish. All right. So, and the next one is AU200. AU200 is now ranging. The Kumo flat and Kijun Sen Tenkan Sen flat. And market is within the P wave now. So it's flat and ranging. So we have to wait for the P wave. Oh, sorry, I think I had the P wave already. So we have to wait for the P wave breakout towards either direction. I will adjust the P wave a little bit like this. 
but uh, we have to wait for the P wave breakout towards either direction here. Okay. Oh, did it stop the live? Uh, it stopped the live now. Okay, looks like it's okay. It's recovering now. Okay, so anyways, um, that's the overview for the indices. So now let me quickly catch up on the news for this week. So I go to calendar. I'm using this fxtreet.com and calendar because this is very handy and it refreshes real time. So this is my favorite. So let me pick uh, this week from the 13th to the 17th on Friday and click apply and I get this calendar. So uh, Monday 13th, we have no news. In 14th, we have a uh, pound um, climate count rate count change will be there. So uh, pound pairs can be affected by this and unemployment rate also will be affected by this. And moving on to Wednesday, we have CPI in UK, so pound pairs can be affected by this. And also, we have many more news. Retail sales in the US and consumer price index report in BOC Canada. And then, FOMC. So, Wednesday we have, yeah, on Wednesday, we have to be careful. And moving on to Thursday, we have a Euro European Council meeting and employment change in uh, in AUD. So you have to be careful in Euro AUD and also uh, markets PMI. Manufacturing PMI will be there in Germany. So Euro pairs can be affected. And also policy meeting in Swiss. So Swiss franc can be affected by this and Euro market PMI composite and also SMB press conference in Swiss and then uh, market service PMI in UK so many news and pound also we have rate decision pound and policy meeting in pound and euro we have another policy meeting euro itself and then ECB press conference Thursday, we have also big news, big events. So be careful on, the, on Thursday. And Friday, we have policy meeting in Japan. So JPY pairs can be affected by this. And that's it. So next week, overall, we have to be careful on Wednesday, FMC. And also Thursday, news in AUD and Euro and Swiss run and Pound. So that covers the whole news for next week. Okay, so... Oh, is the connection okay right now? I see some loading sign on the on the screen, but is it okay right now? Let's see... Oh, I think the bitrate is kind of low, so I think the connection is now getting weak so, so, uh, for some reason. Yeah, looks like it's kind of pausing now. Hold on, let me check this internet thing here. Connection internet. Uh, Yeah, maybe I need to reset the router, otherwise I can't continue, perhaps. Yeah, sorry about the issue on the connection, but uh, I guess I will just end the live for now because of some connection issue. So, um, yeah, and I do see many comments, but uh, looks like connection is having issue. So I will read and uh, possibly 
answer to these questions or comments on the next live stream or videos. So, uh, but once again, thank you for joining on this relaxing Sunday. If you liked it so far, please press the like button and hope to see you again. So until I see you next time, please have a great weekend and stay healthy and stay gold. All right, bye for now. Matane everyone. Thank you.